Ain't your bro making boop boom on these hoes And me, I just stick and move on these hoes We got that purple running for the pain My niggas, we ain't changed, we ain't changed I wake up on the daily basis, I count this money up, I'm already rich. I go so hard with these niggas. I'm from 2017. Wax. All right, guys, we're here at SEMA Show 2017, and my mission in coming here Catch up with this guy right here, Josh Burnett. You have been very, very busy, sir. Yes, sir, we have. And, uh, yeah. It's been no real secret. Um, you've, you've had some renderings floating around for a little while about what this truck would turn out to be. And right. it was close, but the finished product was, was not what the rendering was. And we'll get to that in a minute. But um, tell us a little bit about it. You, you picked up a 2017 Super Duty about nine months ago. Yep, about that. And, yeah. and the goal, the end result was to be here today, right? Right, that's right. And we are here. So tell us a little bit about the vision and how it evolved and, and what you guys have going here with this rig. Yeah, right on. So I uh, partnered up with American Force and we wanted to do the first lifted dually on 28 inch wheels. So I picked up a 17 F450 Platinum. I wanted the 450, it's just bigger. Big as it's gonna be, it needs to be bigger anyway, right? And um, yeah, we went uh, partnered up with the American Force, partnered up with Fury Tires, a um, bunch of big spots of Fusion Bumpers, um, Precision Retrofits did the lights and the mirrors and things. And um, uh, then I was looking for a builder and I got with uh, Steven One Leg on Instagram and uh, down at BNC Off-Road and Third Coast Suspension and uh, worked with those guys. They've been awesome. But uh, then the um, then the Fury tires didn't work out. Not Fury's fault. Totally not their fault. Nobody's ever done it. So they were too wide. Too sure, wide sure. for the dually wheels. And uh, we're scrambling and we came up with tractor tires. And when you say scrambling, you're like, this is like... A week three, out. Three, yeah, three days a week out, whatever. The window that you have to make it is, is very small. Very small. And so the, the thought of the tractor tires came up. Yep. And uh, you did it. Yeah, we, we cranked the lift up a little higher than we originally planned. It's 20 right. inches right now. Okay. And, uh, yeah, tractor tires, man. It's been a hit. It's been yeah. crazy. I did hear a little bit of conversation about why would you go uh, Leafs on that big of a lift. Yep. And now you know. That is exactly why. So, right. thought of maybe bags at some point? Yeah, maybe? bags at some point. The truck originally was built. I was going to... I like to tow it. I like to use the trucks I built. You know what I mean? So, uh, towing the Razor, the buggies, and things like that around. But now, yeah, we're probably going to go to bags and have this set up and also a set of 26s for uh, driving every day. Yeah, practical. I don't. We'll make sure that you can use it too. Yep. So, cool deal, man. With, with this truck... Um, I would like to refer to it as the truck that broke the internet version 2.0 <laughs> right. because the attention that you've gotten since this thing just rolled out of the shop about, I don't know, five days ago has been insane. It's been crazy. I mean, just everywhere I go, I see variations, pictures, videos of this truck. So how was the trip out here? Did you guys get any attention? Yeah, it was pretty crazy. I think there's a picture floating around of the two uh, two police officers there. We were at a truck stop and it is just drawing a crowd here where we go. Of course, we make plenty of stops for gas on the way up here, right? Sure. For diesel. Obviously. But uh, yeah, these guys, uh, we took a few pictures of them and uh, it was it's gone everywhere. This guy, he wants us to come back and unload it and take him for a ride. And uh, that's a lot more trouble than it seems. Uh, yeah. You know, we hit the Rock Controller app. Rock Controller's on board too. We hit that app and turn the lights on at a truck stop. and. I thought we'd never get out of there, man. It's just—it's yeah. been a great—it's been a party all the way. It's been a lot of fun. Very well received. Yeah, very definitely, humble. Definitely, dude. I'm—I'm I'm super excited for you guys, and I, I know that that's kind of the reward in all this, because no doubt that there's no, no there's no logic. The that's math, right. The Absolutely math not. Yeah, it doesn't make sense. Trust but, me. Yeah, Don't math, do this at home. Yeah, the math doesn't work out, but it's <laughs> yeah. the fact that you come out here, and this is literally the, the flagship build of the American Force booth, and, and maybe even the truck scene, scene all together. So it was super cool that you're able to, to have the commitment and willingness to go through with this because I know there's a lot of frustration along the way. Yeah, I need to thank my wife for sure, Tiffany. Thank yep. you. Yep. She's definitely world class to be able to support this all the way. So, yep. so props to her as well. Absolutely. Josh, appreciate it, man. Definitely yeah. uh, I'm do a little more walk around the truck. I mean, try and soak all this up. There's no way to capture all the details of everything because it's just so over the top. But definitely appreciate your time and yeah. good catching up with you, sir. Yeah, absolutely, man. Thanks, man. Appreciate yes, it. Thanks a lot.
turned on the gas with a nickel plate. Sir, sir, you're taking up two parts. You're taking up four parking spots. Well, I would get a ticket. Hey, let's take the Hey guys, if you enjoyed that video, be sure to check out our all new show, Diesel Nation, on Carbon TV. It's nothing but exclusively diesel content. We've got driver interviews, product and shop reviews, and all the diesel action you love. Be sure to click the link over here to my left or the video description below on mobile. And remember, let the coal roll.